Hi everyone. I am a little bit off the cuff and off schedule today. So typically I am here on Wednesdays, but I thought I'd put my little pharmacist hat on today and help clarify a little bit of a hot topic, which is about EpiPen. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Claudia Cometa. I am a pharmacist and independent skincare consultant, typically doing videos on skincare, but today I sort of felt compelled to clear up some confusion about this EpiPen drama. So I know a lot of you have been seeing Facebook posts and maybe news stories about EpiPens and how they have risen significantly cost-wise. And so I thought I would try to help clear that up for those of you who are a bit confused, um, as it can get very confusing. So I actually have a lot of experience on, with this, not just be, from a pharmacist's perspective, but from a personal um, and mother's perspective, because my son is allergic to peanuts. We have always carried around an EpiPen, and I'm very familiar with what they are and how expensive they are. So as you have been seeing in the news, Mylan is the manufacturer of EpiPens and they are price gouging as many pharmaceutical companies do. Um, and a lot of you are, you know, of course, trying to help the situation, sign petitions, um, but I know many of you may not even know what an EpiPen is. So I thought first I would clarify what it is and secondarily help you, either you personally or help you help somebody you know how to get either an EpiPen or an alternative generic for cheaper and a little bit more cost um, effective. So first, what is an EpiPen? An EpiPen is a delivery device for epinephrine. So epinephrine is also known as adrenaline more commonly. So when you say, you know, you had an adrenaline rush, um, that's basically what you're talking about. You're talking about epinephrine. So an EpiPen is a pen that delivers epinephrine, which is an important, um, medication for somebody who has had an allergic reaction and is in anaphylaxis. So because that delivery system is so easy to utilize and it has so, been so well branded that everybody just refers to anything that is remotely, you know, even close to an epinephrine auto injector, you'll just hear the term EpiPen, much like Benadryl. So there are plenty of generic alternatives to Benadryl. There's Waldryl. There's, of course, the generic diphenhydramine, but you're always going to hear Benadryl. But that's just how it's been branded. So very similarly, you're pretty much always probably going to hear EpiPen. Um, and so, but you need to know that there's alternatives. So one alternative is a generic called AdrenaClick. And you'll realize that it got its name from adrenaline and a clickable pen. Now, the delivery of adrenaclick is a little bit different than EpiPen. So it's not exact. It's not that far off, but it would take a little bit of training if you're only familiar with EpiPens. So for that reason, most people default to EpiPens because most people have been trained on that. Schools have been trained on that. Um, healthcare professionals, of course, are trained on that. You know, you've probably trained your babysitters and your nannies. Um, and so most people are hesitant to move to something that requires more training. However, if the EpiPens have become cost prohibitive for you, that is an option. Now, your physician cannot write a prescription for EpiPen if you want AdrenaClick or another or the generic alternative, which is um, epinephrine auto injector. They have to write it as the generic for you to have the option. So a pharmacist cannot utilize a prescription for EpiPen and auto substitute it for an epinephrine generic auto injector. They need to write it for the generic. So just FYI on that. Um, secondly, if you do want to get brand EpiPen, um, there is a coupon on the EpiPen website that nobody's likely going to tell you about um, just because they don't take the time to do that. So if you go to EpiPen.com slash copay and follow the instructions, you will be able to get a coupon that can save you up to 300 um, And that includes even if you have insurance, but your copay is very high. So please do that. It has saved us tons of money and it literally takes two seconds to do it. You just don't know about it. So now you do. So that's the website for that. Um, if even with that, or if you've utilized um, all you can on that coupon, you still cannot get an EpiPen. Um, have your physician write for AdrenaClick or just generic EpiPen auto injector, and that will be much less expensive for you. Finally, if you're a healthcare professional, if you want to get it the absolute cheapest, um, and you're able to 
actually inject from a vial, you could just get an epinephrine vial and a syringe. Now that's obviously not the best way if you number one, um, are not a healthcare professional or number two are a healthcare professional, but aren't able to act quickly under pressure like that. So if it's your child, personally, if it was my child, I wouldn't want to be messing around with a vial, um, especially if you're dealing with anaphylaxis, but that would be the absolute cheapest is just to have an epinephrine vial, a syringe, you know, carry it around um, in a container and that would be your cheapest option. But for most of us, you're gonna want an auto injectable pen because you wanna act quickly when something like that's happening. So epipen.com slash copay to get your coupon and um, alternatively have your physician write for epinephrine auto injector um, or adrenoclick and that will be a lot cheaper for you. So I hope that's been really helpful. Um, please share it with somebody who has a personally has an anaphylactic issue or whose child does so that they know what their options are. Um, I know a lot of us are, you know, very much um, angry at big pharma and I totally get that. Um, so, but let's educate and try to get people the answers they need. Um, and uh, so feel free to share and I hope that was helpful and I will see you on Wednesday for my skincare drill. Have a wonderful weekend.